My name is Brian Black, and I teach fifth and sixth grade at Riverdale Grade School in Southwest Portland. I went to outdoor school in 1980 in Eastern Oregon. I don't remember a lot about sixth grade. I remember everything about outdoor school. Uh, well, my name is Jennifer Starkey, and I grew up here in Portland. Uh, I uh, went to outdoor school as a kid, and I participated in it as a high school student, and I ended up working there. Uh, for several years and I'm now an art educator. I started working with Outdoor School when I was 25 years old as the Plants Field Instructor at, at Howard Outdoor School and it was uh, a profoundly rewarding experience working with them. There are four areas of study, plants, animals, soil, and water. But it doesn't take long for the students to realize that all of those four studies are completely integrated. The reason why I am so dedicated and committed to outdoor school is they provide a hands-on experience in the sciences out in the field that I simply cannot provide in the classroom. And it's not just for kids that can afford to go, and it's not just for kids who have, you know, the time to fundraise, and it's not just for the kids whose parents, like, happen to think it's a good idea for them to go out and do something they don't see. Every single sixth grader will be successful and have a good time and learn. It doesn't matter what their special needs are, Every single student will be accommodated. And then we're going to all head back up. Oh, wow. Nice. That was, really good that was a perfect skip. Because of uh, a shortage of funding, many school districts can't afford to go at all. Um, and the ones that can have uh, generally been able to sign up for a shortened uh, three day, two night program. The number one challenge facing outdoor school is funding. There is not enough funding. Schools have to provide the money for their students to go, and not every district has that extra money. We're in a situation now in Oregon where districts are cutting back every single year. Anything extra is cut out. Unfortunately, some people see outdoor school as extra. I see it as mandatory. The number one thing outdoor school needs to be able to continue being successful and to move forward is a stable funding base. The best way that can happen is through raising awareness, making sure that everybody knows how important it is, where they can give. Yeah.